first name is Mike and I used to live in Medford, Oregon. And now I'm a full-time RVer and just traveling the United States in an RV with my wife. It's the T-Wall 3, and I bought it in June. All over the place. So we have like lakes all over Southern Oregon where I lived, and we first sailed it there at our some of our home lakes where there's kind of a lot of wind. And then we, uh, we basically took off and started venturing east and went went all over the kind of the United States zigzagging through national parks and just seeing tourist attractions and and planning our trip to where we would always be at a body of water if we could and in hopes that we could we could use it and uh, yeah we actually left Oregon we went up to Washington in Anacortes area and actually sailed it in in the ocean a little bit on a bay and then we started traveling uh, east uh, hit, hitting various lakes and really, really enjoyed it. I mean, we've been at, at different campgrounds on lakes pretty much all summer, all fall. We're now in Florida, we've been here since September. So we basically had summer the whole time and really there's been no downtime to use the T-Wall. I did not. And that's one of the reasons I got the T-Wall because our goal is to live on a sailboat one day and I contacted a sailing instructor and ultimately got lessons with just last month. And I asked him, how do I get started in sailing? And he said, well, well, do some online courses, which I did. And he said, try and get your hands on a small uh, sailboat. Well, I knew we were gonna be full-time RVing and I'm already towing a truck and I can't then tow another sailboat. Um, so I really didn't know what to do. And I saw the T-Wall on a TV program I was actually watching in the background and I googled it and kind of the rest is history so um, it's really the only way it could work for me was to have something that's portable inflatable that's small but that's how I got started so really the first time single-handed sailing was on this key wall and I learned some great great lessons on it too that were you know like I flipped it over a couple times and realized that that's not that's not a big deal. It's like it's really easy to upright. In fact, I flipped it right over like minutes after I uprighted it, and then you kind of learn. It's like okay, so learn what don't do that again, and then weight distribution in the boat and just all sorts of great stuff. Accidental jive. I mean, all the stuff that you can learn on just a small little safe environment. So if I do graduate to a bigger boat one day, that's not hopefully not going to happen. I could keep it in the back of my truck that I pull behind my motorhome. It's a small truck, it's just a Ford Ranger. So I could put it in the back of the truck and it's got a canopy cover over it and I could store some other stuff in there. It doesn't take up a lot of room. And then when we arrive at a campground, we just pull it out. It only takes like 20 to 30 minutes to get it going. And I usually just keep it on a trailer in the campground and then just roll it down to the water anytime it's looking nice out there. We've done both. So me and my wife will go out there sometimes and we'll sail together. And that's a lot of fun. And then I'll sometimes just sail by myself. It just kind of depends on on the conditions and how much wind we have and, and stuff like that. So we spend a lot of times at different lakes going across the United States, some big lakes, some small lakes, some windy lakes some not windy lakes. And we try and get that T-wall out every time the conditions are good enough to sail. I'm really impressed with the sale. I think the the sale is really high quality. It does a great job. The it's hard to say one thing honestly because like it's really well well built and performs so good. I really love everything about it. There's not really one thing, but I was just gonna say like the sale. It's like the North Sale is like a really nice sale. It's a very striking sale. When I when I use the boat. I'm pretty proud of it because it's a very good looking striking boat and actually turns a lot of heads and people don't see that. I mean, they're just, they're not a lot of T-walls around here. And so oftentimes, every time I bring it out, there's anybody that walks by, there's going to usually be a conversation about it. Oftentimes people will Google it on their phone because they're trying to figure out what it is. They've never seen this before. Um, so yeah, I just think the whole package is, is pretty striking. I re I'm really glad I got the T-wall three too, because I'm, 
a little bit more into maybe the performance and I really like to push it when I'm out there on, on the lake, you know, if it's really windy, you know, one time I reefed it and, uh, and, and thought, well, you know, I probably didn't need to do that. So next time if it's that windy, I'm not going to reef and see how it does. And I, and I enjoy that even though it's a little, you know, a little scary at points, but it was a lot of fun. I would track the speed with my phone app that I put in a waterproof case and tie it to the frame. Um, and my, probably my best ex memory was going really fast. And, you know, I, I'd sail typically at around six knots or, you know, eight miles an hour. And that's super fun. And, uh, but on lakes, the, the wind kind of comes, it's like up and down. It's not like consistent on the ocean. So there's one day that was really windy. It was blowing really hard and it was consistent wind. And I was able to get up on the, uh, get up on the frame rail and really heel it over and push it to, you know, and went really fast. And I was recorded like 12 miles an hour on my little phone. So I thought that was pretty exhilarating. And I don't know what that is to not, but it was, for me, it felt pretty fast. In nice tropical warm waters around Florida, which is where I'm at now. One thing about Florida is that there are alligators. So I'm not so much into the lake sailing here in Florida. I, I, I need to find uh, the ocean. And, there, and we were in the Florida Keys and we sailed it around Florida Keys and it simply doesn't get any better than that. I mean, the ocean was beautiful, the wind was great, water's warm, air is warm, it's just perfect. So I think I'm, I think I've landed where is the perfect place for me.